France has already delivered 26 Rafale fighter jets to the Indian Air Force, and officials have said that three more Rafale fighters will be arriving in India on 13 October. That will be followed with three more units in November and another three units in December 2021, and the last 36th Rafale fighter jet will be delivered in January 2022. That will carry all 13 India-specific enhancements, and after its arrival, the previous 35 fighter jets will be fitted with the 13 India-specific enhancements. The Indian Air Force chief had recently held talks with senior officials at the Ministry of Defence and Prime Minister's office, to make a case for procurement of 36 Rafale F4.1 standard, that might be partially assembled in kit form in the Dassault Alliance Aerospace Limited. Russia will start exporting the KH-59 MKMA-launched cruise missile from December 2021 to an undisclosed country, and as per military analysts the undisclosed country is expected to be India. The 930 kg missile is meant for carriage by Su-30 and MiG-35 fighters, and it has a maximum range of 285 km, and it can cruise at low levels of 10 meters at speeds of 1050 km per hour. The MKM variant is the penetrator version, that has eliminated the seeker section and is fitted with a 360 kg warhead, that is able to penetrate 3 meters of reinforced concrete. India has issued an area warning for the launch of an experimental flight vehicle over the Bay of Bengal, for a range of less than 3,000 km, for the period between 23rd to 24th September, which is speculated to be the night test of the Agni-3 ballistic missile for a flight trajectory of 2,800 km. The last test of the Agni-3 in full operational clearance in December 2019 had failed due to a manufacturing defect during which it travelled around 115 km into its initial flight trajectory, and later deviated from the flight path forcing the mission team to terminate it midway. The DRDO is equipping the Astra Mark 1 missile with a new ASA radar seeker, that will give improved tracking capability and better resistance to electronic counter-countermeasure. The DRDO is also improving its propellant to improve its end game burn rate and range in the no escape zone. The DRDO is also working on two variants of the Astra IR missile, in which the first variant will feature thrust vector control so that it can pull higher G's, and also allow better maneuverability at close range of the target, while the second variant will carry a dual mode secret technology, that will see both radar and infrared for the terminal guidance offering a greater chance of a successful engagement, and the trials of the two Astra IR variants will start in 2023. The DRDO is also carrying out the final design optimization on the Astra Mark II, and its trials will start in the next two to three months. Midani Group has flagged off the consignment of titanium and super alloy products to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited that will be used for the light combat aircraft and advanced light helicopter programs. It had recently supplied a titanium alloy-based airframe part of AMCA, and Hindustan Aeronautics is also working together with Midani Group to establish a joint facility for the development and production of composite raw materials. US Navy has announced that U.S. Navy Special Warfare Soldiers Indian Navy's Marine Commandos and Japanese Navy's Special Boarding Units have completed the Special Operations Forces phase of Malabar 2021 in Guam. The Special Forces teams participated in mission planning and close quarters battle simulations, that tested endurance and incorporated elements of combat and hostage rescue, combat dive operations and maritime strike warfare. The Indian Navy chief visited the Mauritius Coast Guard MCGS Barracuda at Guard and Reach Shipbuilders, to review the ongoing maintenance activities, and he also met the crew of the ship. 
The MCGS Barracuda was built by Garden Reach Shipbuilders and delivered to Mauritius in 2015, and it is also the first warship exported by an Indian shipbuilding company. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh held talks with his Australian counterpart Peter Dutton, and discussed ways to expand cooperation in emerging defence technologies like artificial intelligence and unmanned vehicles and also to expand military engagements. The navies of India and Australia had also concluded the fourth edition of the Oz Index exercise in Australia's Northern Territory on 10 September. Australian Foreign Minister has also said that India and Australia are working towards an early harvest trade deal that will prepare the grounds for a comprehensive economic cooperation agreement.